hi guys welcome back again to our channel in today's video is going to be a cook with me video cook with us rather yeah because we are all doing it together cook and clean with us video so the first thing you see me doing here is i'm just trying to wash my cow food that cow food is going inside the soup because i'm going to be preparing two two food which is soup and um rice jollof rice yeah so i'm just trying to put the cow leg on the fire for it to just boil a little bit before i remove the first water and wash it then put it back again and season it so i'm going to be using some talking to prepare my jollof rice the talking is too big that is why you see me cut it them little by little so that the seasonings we enter them very well <laughs> if you know what i mean so i'm just trying to season it you can season it with any seasoning of your choice so i'm adding in some pepper i just like to feel the taste of pepper each time i'm eating my meat like any meat at all i always add pepper to to cook it yeah so this is me trying to wash the dishes like i don't want there to be too feed up later you just be like get tired of everything so i'm just trying to wash dishes i use and remove them from the place where i'm cooking if i don't need any of them yet and here is the tomatoes and red bell pepper i'm going to be using to prepare my jollof rice like i said before i'm preparing jollof rice and soup so i'm just trying to remove the seed in the tomatoes and the red bell pepper so after cleaning the uh, tomatoes and red bell pepper i just clean up the onions as well onions and pepper i'm going to be using for this um, jollof rice and slice them for it to be blend ready to be blend yeah <laughs> so hobby finally came to help me blend that so he helped me blend everything then i just put the tomatoes and the red bell pepper everything on the fire to dry up the excess water After helping me with little stuff in the kitchen, he went ahead to clean the house. Yeah, like mopping, cleaning the bathroom. You see, Owen was helping with his own little way as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was helping with his own little way. I'm going to be preparing ogbolo first so that was my ogbolo in that little pot so I'm just trying to add in some red oil to melt it yeah so I'm um, I add in some red oil into the pot so right now you see me blending crayfish this is the crayfish I'm going to be using to prepare the soup and here is what we call ogba in my language i don't know what it's called so it give a very nice nice when i mean nice taste to ogbolo <laughs> guys 
so this is how we roast it you normally roast it if you roast it that is when you will have the the real smell will come out so after roasting it i just try to blend it guys this ogba is very nice with ogba if you have not tried it is something you need to try i can't if you are Asian here or i don't know for other language but we Asian we use it so i'm trying to clean in my my dry fish as well i'm trying to clean my dry fish for the soup after cleaning the dry fish i just put everything on the pot and put some water so put a uh, seasoning and allow it to boil yeah so right now after boiling i'm just trying to remove the fish because i don't want that fresh fish to break but you can leave the dry fish there but for the fresh fish it will just pieces you won't see anything to eat inside your soup so i remove in some some water yes so right now i'm going to pour in the okbolo the method okbolo so this okbolo has the okba the crayfish and pepper inside already so i'm just trying to add it inside the water after adding it you just use some hot water to whisk out the the remaining one inside the uh, inside the pot you use to mix it or uh, whatever you use to mix it so i'm just going to turn it turn the okbolo very well turn it if you need some water you add in some water little by little don't just add everything once because it might be too much you never can tell so i just like to add in my little by little So after that, I went in and add one seasoning. So I added salt because the meat stock already has seasoning in it. I added my meat, the dry fish. So the the mackerel fresh fish is the last thing I'm going to be adding because I don't want it to pieces while turning the soup. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> and i test for the seasoning so at this point i already add in my vegetable you can use any vegetable of your choice in here i use uh, some frozen spinach yeah you can use bitter leaf whatever vegetable of your choice after some few minutes the soup was ready so let's move over to the next meal which is jollof rice you can see the bread and tomatoes and red bell pepper i probably blended earlier it's still cooking on the fire i'm trying to dry that excess water like i said so the turkey has fried you see each fish show this brownish color you know your turkey has fried so i'm trying to remove it inside the oil at this point i already pop where my rice i'm going to be using to cook this jollof rice yeah and this is the pot i'm going to be using to cook it so i'm trying to prepare the tomato sauce so i add in some sliced onions to the hot oil and i'm adding in some seasoning you can add seasoning of your choice but the seasoning i use here is some bay leaf seasoning cube curry and thyme so i just go ahead and add in my tomatoes paste yeah thin tomatoes paste so right now i will add in the cook the cook and uh, the blended <laughs> the blended tomatoes and red bell pepper which i cooked earlier to reduce the excess water so that's what i'm just adding in right now
so i just added in the blended pepper and onions because i blend that separately i don't cook it together with that tomatoes and red bell pepper so right now i've add in the meat stock after leaving it for a while to cook all. so i've added in the meat stock so right now i'm just going to add in the rice guys this is after few minutes of the rice cooking so right now at this point i'm adding in some sliced onions and butter so this butter and onions give it a nice taste as well i don't know how to explain it but i always like to add it to my jollof rice at the end yeah so i just stir everything together and i will cover it and leave it to steam a little bit yes and the jollof rice is ready this jollof rice was so delicious guys like everything like the ingredients everything at Taram where you can see i wish you guys can taste it through the screen <laughs> but it was so delicious yeah so after that i just went ahead to tie my soup the way i'm going to be storing it in the fridge yeah that's how i normally store my food whichever food i normally store it in the freezer because this time around the summer food gets spread easily so i i store everything in the freezer yeah just leave a little bit of it in the fridge so each time you want to eat you remove it from the freezer you melt it and you make your food yeah so this is my food and i also prepared this little pepper soup because i was craving it so guys at this point i was so so hungry guys look at what i'm eating on that pot <laughs> on that pot of rice <laughs> i was so craving this on that pot of rice like i didn't give anybody oh let me finish it so yeah guys after everything hobby came to help me clean the kitchen and that was it that's how we do our weekend cleaning and cooking so i don't do it alone we do it together <laughs> because hobby is always home during the weekend to help as well so guys thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like and share okay see you all in our next video